Hey YouTube, this is Matt Matthew, and with the PS3 emulator, RPCS3, doing milestone after milestone after milestone. I mean, they they added AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Every single PS3 game is bootable now. Doesn't mean that it's playable, just means that it's bootable. And now with their recent milestone, adding the PlayStation I camera support I mean guys this is probably one of the best times to get into PS3 emulation so what better way for you guys to get involved is with this tutorial I'm gonna teach you step by step how to dump your games configure RPCS3 configure the firmware do the updates everything guys from beginning to end I'll have timestamps in the description below so you guys could just skip to the part that you want. So let's get started. So now first thing you gotta do guys, real simple, open up your internet browser. I'm using Firefox, but you can use several one. Go to rpcs3.net. Super simple guys. I mean these guys really really made it easy for you guys to really create everything right here right off the bat click on the download download for windows click on it it's going to download automatically latest version i already did this so boom then right here you're going to go to the quick start guide look how easy they made this guys like they really want you guys to enjoy playstation 3 Here's your minimum requirements, recommended day requirements. My PC, I'm using a 8 core 16 thread Ryzen 3700X. So, which is a Zen 2, I believe. Yeah, it's a Zen 2 architecture. I'm using a Vega 64, which is Vulcan compatible. It's very fine. I used to have a NVIDIA RX 27 Super, but sadly it caught on fire and it burned. Not to our requirements, they don't really do it. Uh, you really need like a high, super high gaming lap laptop. But hey, if you're on a laptop, at decent specs, you can do it too. Right here, make sure you have Visual C++ installed. Just you click on it, there you go. And then your PlayStation 3 firmware, obviously, which I have right here. But if you just click on it, it's going to take you to the same web page. Boom. And you just download the PS3 update. Right there, PS3 update. It's going to be the latest 4.88. And. That is really. That's really it. That's pretty much it. So. Once you have everything ready. I download these right here. So we are going to pretty much extract these. Just right click, extract here. You can, you can use WinRAW, you can use 7-zip, whichever one you want. Right here, as soon as you guys you open it, it's gonna say, give you the warnings. I know, I also do not support piracy. And right here, this is RPCS3, guys. Now, first thing you gotta do is make sure you install the firmware. So you go to File, Install Firmware. You're gonna look for your firmware, which I have in the RPCS3 folder right here. Double click it. There you go. Everything's a virus to my antivirus. I've been using RPCS3 since the beginning. And it the biggest virus, so. but once it's compiling all the things that it needs, you just gotta wait. Now, the faster your PC and the faster your hard drive, the faster this will install. <laughs> all right. Now that everything's installed, we can close this out. And now we're gonna need some PlayStation 3 games. 
Now there's two ways to do this. One, you go back to RPCS3, you go back to the quick start guide, and you're gonna go all the way down to where it says dumping with a desktop PC. Now for this work you will need a compatible Blu-ray drive, which I actually have just out of happenstance. Because when I bought this Blu-ray drive, it this was way before PS3 and emulation was even a thing. So, so you find a drive that you're compatible with, and you are going to download the disk dumper. So I click on it right here. It's gonna take you to the GitHub of it, and you're just gonna download right here, Win64 there I already downloaded it so right here same thing gonna right click it extract right here and right here's the distumper and right here first thing it's gonna say is please insert your PlayStation 3 disc so that's what we're gonna do right now we're going to pop in my disc go I close the drive there you go it's gonna read the disk now the reason why this is not a hundred percent is because it has to look for the disk keys so if you don't have the disk keys it is going to look for it within its database and if it doesn't have the disk keys in its database then you're not going to be able to dump it this way you're going to need to use the your physical PS3 which is the next step we're going to do after this and once you got everything done you just click start and it will decrypt the disk and it will copy the file structure So once you're done, you should see a check mark here. No validation info available is okay. Um, yeah, once everything's done, you can close it and you will see your game right here. Now I will just gonna move this back to RPC Street. So right here. Now second, you're gonna need this game's update. So first, I would like you to copy the serial number right here then you're gonna use this program right here which I will have a link right here to this guy's website he created a simple PS3 game update downloader tool it's super simple it's free of viruses uh, probably the best one I use yet next to PS3 game updates so you're just gonna click on it here gonna download the same program that you saw before. So we're just gonna extract it, open it, click begin, right here, it's gonna paste the serial number, you're gonna click here, get refresh the data, it's gonna find the update, we're just gonna click download update, should be establishing the connection and it's going to download the update which is only 12.7 megabytes once it's done I'm just going to click the open download folder and it's going to take you to where the update is so we are just going to put the update in rpcs3 and right here Alright, so once you have everything here, I am going to shoot over to my PS3 and I'm going to show you how to copy your disc game to your PS3. Alright, so once you get into your PS3, you're going to be at the main menu. You're going to go all the way down to your games. Once again, make sure your PS3 is in custom firmware mode. Uh, this PS3 is in rebug, so it's automatically in custom firmware as so you turn on. If you're in HEN, PS3 HEN, or PS3 HAN, depending on how you say it, uh, make sure you enable it 
Judah Enabler, and then you will get the package managers and all that. So make sure your PS3 is in its firmware mode again. You're gonna go, make sure you have Multiman installed. We're gonna click on it. It's gonna open Multiman. Yes, I know. Please load Multiman. There you go. Multiman is loaded. Now, normally I will have my games installed, but since for this tutorial, I literally just have my disc game. It says it right there Uncharted Drake's Fortune. You're gonna go triangle, and you are going to go to copy. And it's gonna say PS3 HDD, Dev HDDO, that's very fine. You have external hard drive, so install it there. Unless this P unless this game has a over four gigabyte file, then you can't install it to a FAT32 USB drive. So we're just gonna install it to the PS3's HDD. Click confirm. It's gonna say you want to copy the game to internal HDD. You say yes. It's gonna verify the data, and now we wait. All right. So once everything's completed, you should get this screen that says done file copies. You need to press the square to continue. And now you should see your game twice. One, that's the physical disc. And the second one, which is your HDD. All right. So let's get back to the computer and let's finish this tutorial. All right, so now you know both ways to copy your PS3 games, either from your compatible Blu-ray drive or your PS3. Now we are going to open our PC S3 again, and we are going to finish configuring it. Now I like to keep everything as default, and I will tell you why, because a lot of PS3 games require special configurations to make it run. So editing here will be such a huge hassle. So I just like to keep everything here default. And the only thing I'm going to do is add my controller. Now you can use your keyboard mouse or your PS3 controller, PS4 controller, or PS5 controller, or your Xbox controller, either Xbox 360 or Xbox One or Series X. Now, I have a uh, Xbox One S controller or PS4 controller, so whichever one works is fine by you. We are just gonna plug in the controller now. Like I said, I'm gonna be using my PS4 controller because certain games require six access motion, even though Uncharted is not one of them, but once you click, it's gonna find it. Everything's configured, you can see here. Everything's working just fine. See? And we're just gonna click save. Now, we're gonna download the game patches. Click download. We're gonna download all the patches right here. And of course, we have the patches for Uncharted as well. These will come in handy because, like I said before, certain games require patches as well as special configurations. So now we're going to make our emulator find the games. So we are going to go to add games, desktop, RPCS3, right here, select folder. So you can see the games instantly pop up and it's going to say it's going to need the update. So we're going to click File, Install Packages, find your Uncharted Update, and we're going to install it. There you go. Now it says in-game because, like I said, not all every single game is playable. So download the compatibility, make sure it's always up to date. 
Now, before we play, which I should have done this before, we are going to go to the RPCS3 wiki. Right here, RPCS3 wiki. Now, like I said, some games require special, special configurations, and the RPCS3 wiki, even though it's not really updated much, it will give us a good head start to make sure these games are running in the best shape possible. So we're just going to go all the way down to find Uncharted. <laughs> they have such a long So right here, pretty much the description, and it's going to say any special patches or notes. So it says right here, the only options deviate from the defaults. It requires bright color buffers on to fix blurry screens and subchapters. So right here, this is why I say I don't like to configure it from the main menu. I like to configure it on a per game basis, and this is why many games require these special things. So we're going to go right here and create custom configuration. Now, like I said, it said go to the GPU tab and enable right color buffer. Now, right here, we can set the frame limit, we can set actual filtering, anti aliasing, we can en en enable FSR for upscaling. We can change it, we can change the renderer to OpenGL, but this is Vulcan's pretty much the default because it's just that good. And then once it's done, you're gonna click apply, save. Now we're gonna go to game patches. On the show game we'll have installed, uncharted, and we could disable depths of field, we could disable motion blur. I'm going to save the field, I do not like the field, and fix any reptiles. There we go. Click apply and save. Now everything is done, and we play the game. And once we double click it, it's going to compile the PPU modules. And this actually takes long the first time you do it, but the more you the more you play the game, the more you open up the game, the quicker it will go. And there you have it guys, Uncharted on the RPCS Street emulator guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment below, and as always, have an awesome day.